final farewell from the parents of Arielle Morgan and the friends who loved her. Good evening, everyone. I'm Valencia Wicker. 19-year-old Morgan was shot and killed one week ago in Monk's Corner. Her funeral was held today at Mount Moriah Baptist Church in North Charleston. ABC News 4's Gregory Woods was there. He joins us in the studio with all the details. Hi there, Greg. Valencia, the funeral lasted more than two hours. The church was overflowing with friends and family who wanted to see Ariel one last time. They share her memory in a story you'll only see on ABC News 4. <laughs> It was a packed church at Mount Moriah as hundreds remembered the life of 19-year-old Arielle Morgan through song and dance. Makes you seem so far away. Morgan's casket was decorated with flowers and the family's favorite photos. I trusted her opinion about everything. Those close to Morgan gave heartfelt speeches as the audience wiped the tears from their eyes. At the end of the day, when I look at everything, I can smile because I, I know she's not hurting and she's in a better place, you know, and it hurts, but I'm happy. I'm happy to share with God. Ariel and I used to love to text each other a lot. Bradley Boyer is Morgan's father. He says because he lives in California, he and Morgan kept in touch by sending special text messages to one another. One particular time, I just happened to, you know, send a quick text. I just said, hey, don't want nothing, just, you know, just want to say I love you and kisses. And, you know, maybe an hour or two later, she responded back, aw. You know, and I just could hear her soft little voice in the text message just saying, aw. You know, that's what I would love her to be remembered for, is that beautiful person like that. And that's exactly how Ariel's high school friends remember her. People always say we used to be in the hallways. All we used to do is just, we used to laugh. That's all, that was my best friend. I miss her so much. I love her even more and God's gonna work it out. As for Boyer, he just wishes he had one more moment to share with his daughter. I would just tell her I love you, You're my little kitten, and I'm gonna miss you like crazy. Police are still investigating the case. They do not yet have any suspects. If you have any details, call Crime Stoppers at 554-1111.